Welcome back everyone to Light All Feeds Podcast. This is episode 60. Big 6. Oh. Fix Gamer. I don't want. Today, we're actually going to do Beyond the Timescape. Yep. Last week, we went on a, a nice little yeah. pull back the curtain type yeah. episode where we're just going through our light novels. We bashed some, we praised others. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy, bro? I feel like every time we do those videos, like if we take one week off to do like something random, like I remember the other time we picked like uh, two novels that we really liked and we just kind of sponsored them for an episode. Every time we do that, I feel like the novels get backed up so quickly. All of a sudden, I'm like, we have so many novels. <laughs> like, because now I'm like, we have Beyond the Timescape, Damn Reincarnation. We have Beyond the Timescape again. We have the book we're trying to read, Immortal of the Ages. Yeah. Which is next week's read. Mm-hmm. Um, and those are three things right there. And then by the, those three things are done, we have Nine Star. And then maybe Absolute Resonance, because I think there are 40 chapters right now. Yeah. It's like, I probably eat something like Keyboard Immortal too. I don't know how I feel about Keyboard. Remember last week? We already, we already <laughs> gave him an ass. That's, that's, that's true. Week. Last that's week, true. We already gave him, a, gave him an ultimatum. This is do or die. It really is do or die. It might, <laughs> it's probably going to get cut off the channel. It might. It might. It'll be sad. It will be. But I'll just be like, yeah. It is what it is. And I'll probably keep reading it. Yeah, just occasionally. Yeah, I'm like, just like, well, I wonder what's happening. Yeah. But it's not going to be good enough to be like, should we go over it? Yeah. No. no. But before we get on to on the timescape, Immortal of the Ages, um, Yun Zhao, main character. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to start reading that first 200 chapters. Obviously, guys, you know, when we're, um, when we're out of pages, we read right now. So, Beyond Timescape, we've been read it. So that means we're already deep into the mortal ages. Yeah, there's two hundred chapters. So. Yeah, bro. The chapters are long. long. I've been reading all week, and I'm only at one seventy three, and I was reading, bro, like <laughs> reading hard. Like I was reading today at work. I was reading a like every time I was driving, I had it on audio, and wow. still like I'm just like if this was one week, I couldn't have done it. Like literally no, no way. Bro. Are you, you're at 200 though, right? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Did you pass it? I passed a little bit. How am I? Like 30 like chapters? No, like 10 chapters. Okay, does it end the arc there? Or is it just like the stopping point? Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it might end there. Or it might have ended a little bit earlier, mm-hmm. but there's a couple wrap ups uh, I wanted to see. Like the power ups and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Because I know. It's split up into, like, the first book ends at, like, chapter 124, mm. and the second book ends around 240, so I didn't think we'd be able to get that end of the second book, but you think we do? You pretty much get the ending, or no? Yeah. Okay. Right. It's pretty good, guys. I'm not gonna lie. You know, why are we doing this? Yeah. Next week. Next week. Next, next week. week. Yeah, the on the time scale. Best novel on the site right now. Yes. How you feel? All right. The on the time scale. This is gonna be a long, it's a long arc. Yeah, it's just long. These 30 um, chapters ain't doing it. Next 30 chapters probably they, not doing it. They're probably not finishing in the next 30 chapters. I feel like it might be like 50. Yeah. After, no, after the next 30. I think the next 30 after that will finish it. Yeah, probably. Because there's a lot of things to unpack here. Mm-hmm. And like, in the... Or moon worship region. Yes, 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 yes. Like I feel like that's like a whole thing. There's so much history behind it. Yep. There really is, and it's like it's like a microcosm of like the revered ancient mainland. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, Urgen was right. Well, he's fine. In the beginning. What did he say? I remember what was that? There was this um. Are oh, you talking about the quote? Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, everyone saw it. We were just. It like, was the beginning. It was like chapter five, six. No, no, no. There's other quotes. Oh, uh, which quote are you talking about? Oh, it was five sixty the one where he was just. Oh yeah, that five sixty is the one with um. The village. Yes, when they were at the human village, and then there, and then uh, picturing Fahra. So yeah. that quote. What are you though, talking about though? There was a, it was a sad quote. What was it? Ah, with, uh, what's, what, 
what's her face? The girl? With yeah, the, scythe? the girl with the mask. With the scythe? Because he was telling her about, like, when she gave him the candy. Yeah. He went back. Mm -hmm. And it was just, like, such a touching moment. Oh, yeah. Because he was just, like... It was so eloquent when he was just like, yeah, thank you for giving me the candy. Like, back to... he Or he was just like, I understand that you're going through some, like... like Internals and stuff. Because, yeah. like... He hated me, and now he realizes I'm like your the best friend. Yeah, <laughs> and, and but he was just like, but he didn't like say anything about that. Yeah. He was just like, I just want to say thank you for giving me the candy back then because yeah. it helped me out a lot. Yeah. And then he gave her the chocolate. And then it was just like, it, it, was it, it, it was a happy moment. It was happy, but I felt bad for her because she was like, I like never got to protect him, and like now he's leagues ahead of me, and probably never will. Yeah, and we know he's a main character, so she never. No, <laughs> and like I think that's one thing I think that part highlighted how awesome it is for the captain to be like on alongside of him and like the and it's crazy to think that the only way somebody can be like alongside Zhu King and like on par with him is that they have to literally be like a sealed ancient god yeah <laughs> Because nobody else can keep up with the <laughs> explosive talent. Yeah. Like, I thought, like, Big Bro Kong would, like, at least be alongside us to the NASA soul. But he, like, got dropped so quick. Yeah, he got left in the dust. Like, he's still important, but, yeah, like... Yeah, he's still strong. But he's just, like... He'll never, like, fight alongside Zhu King again. Yeah. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. If he does, he's, like, a soldier in an army. Zhu King's a general. Yeah. You know? So... And then we had... Grandmaster, but oh, the other quote was um, there when he parted with uh, the, his the disciples, like Grandmaster buys like first two disciples. Yeah. And she was just like sad about like them. Oh parting. yeah. Mm. And he was just telling me like, you know what? As long as we go, <clears throat> there come a day we'll see him again and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I was. You know, you know what's crazy is like the titles of the chapters. Sometimes they just be going. Crazy. They really do. Like, I forget, what was it called? It was like a sorrowful parting or something. Like that. It was a long so title. stupid, bro. But I was just like, I'm reading the chapter, I'm just like, I feel like I'm like reaching enlightenment. Reading the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's never like, like for example, the Heaven Fire Sea. Mm -hmm. it, the, none of the chapters were called Heaven Fire Sea. Yeah. It was all like some crazy names. I, I really love the naming of it in the, these, these uh, chapters. And that one... I also think that one was really important because, like, I think it's easy to view everything from the main character's point of view when you're, like, reading the main character's point of view. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important to look at, like, how other people see the world as well. For example, Zhu King never has to worry about mutagen. Like, yeah. Ever. But, like, everybody else does. Yeah, and it's all... Because it throws you off a little yeah. bit. Where you're just like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal. But then the author always reminds you, Yes, it is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is terrified of mutagen. Yeah. We saw it with um, the other, the girl. Uh, At Torchlight, when they, they opened the box in Seven oh, Red yeah. Eyes. Oh, yeah. Everyone right was freaking out, and he was just chilling. Yeah. And I think the, the, the time that I saw that wasn't mutagen specific. It was more like when it was that girl, I forget her name, and the guy, the two disciples from Grandmaster by, and him. And it's like him, and he's like literally a bottle. Mm -hmm. He's basically on the level of like some of the Imperial Sons. Like not on their level, but like he's ascending and like he's he knows Imperial Sons, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And like they will never know them. Yeah. Because it's just like different hierarchy society and he's like climbing up that. And then like to see like her point of view where she like doesn't really care for like cultivation and she's just kind of like a regular girl that like likes somebody mm -hmm. and is in a world of war and destruction. And she's like, I feel like you always just kind of throw those people to the side, but like, they're, just like, they're like 90% of the people. Yeah, so we're just like, she was like, born in the wrong family, yeah. or like the wrong environment. Yeah. Where it's just like, everyone's scheming, just like, she doesn't want to like, do any of that. Yeah, she just wants to like, live her life. Yeah, like learn something about vegetation, maybe craft a couple pills, get married, live a, like a good life, you know? That's like... Really not an option for, mm -hmm. like, 98% of the population. Yeah. So, like, when they talk about, like, you know, 
this like births like vicious people like it's understandably they're vicious and like mm -hmm. cutthroat and everything because it's like the world they live in by tomorrow they can be a literal rotting zombie yeah that's why they value the sword soldiers just value each other so much yeah but we go from, we wrap up all the loose ends, I feel like, from the most part. Yeah, they, oh yeah, talk, go back to Grandmaster Bai, they, they try to assassinate Zhu King at there. At the but grave. Then, yeah, but then Marcus Yao set up a trap Ambush. for them. Yeah. Wreck them. And then, um, we leave. And we, we basically, also basically confirm that, what's his face? Um, the flame phoenix is that that fat chubby guy? Fatty, yeah. Fatty Huang. Fatty Huang, yes. Yeah. And he got second sib pregnant. Yep. It's fucking hilarious. I was very surprised. By that. I was like, what? <laughs> she she's gonna be there for a while. Yeah. I'm, I was shocked by that. I didn't know that would happen. That's probably why he liked her. Or one of the reasons. Oh, uh, because she could birth the shadow. Yeah. Maybe. Cause you know how it is, like everyone like people care about like passing on like their bloodline and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Very true. I'm very surprised about that. You know, talking about that, not a fatty Juan has a child, but Phoenix. Mm -hmm. It was said before by um the big beast in um in uh near Seven Blood Eyes. Remember that bird? Wait, are you talking about King Ken? Yeah, King King. Yeah. It was said that its big brother, the Phoenix, could ascend to, uh, like, it's the godhood oh. at any time. And I think, like, he was probably holding back to have a baby. Have a kid. And once that baby is, like, maybe a couple years old, we're going to see him become either a smoldering god or, like, some other sort of god. That He's is. probably past smoldering god. Yeah, He's probably, like, like, a divinity... Like type god, yeah. Like, that's what, god, like, yeah. That's so that's why it's like you. It, it probably yeah. You're probably right. It probably won't be cultivation, but would be like a form. What's it called? Personhood. Yeah. And they'll like upgrade his personhood because they always talk about how like they're a high level being. Yeah. yeah. So it's like yeah, that makes sense why he's holding back because he mm -hmm. can't have a kid with a normal person. Yeah. And the higher he goes, the harder it gets. Yeah. You know, as, as we all know. Um, that was pretty boring. That's my theory on that. No, I agree. Um, so then we go, and I was wrong. We're not going to the Imperial Sovereign. I actually, I did say, though, I think I remember before this, I was thinking, I think that before, before the last Young Times, the one before, I did say that we're going to go on a big adventure. Yeah. But then I took it back after the Imperial Sovereign thing happened, or the, the Imperial College thing happened. Yeah. I should have stuck to it, because they went on a big adventure. <laughs> But they're, yeah. probably, they're going to the school after 100%, though. Yeah, I agree. But they go on an adventure. Uh, the captain. We got Zhu King. We got Ning Yan. And we got poet guy, Wu Jianru. Wu... I think it is Jianru, yeah. Uh, Wu Jianru, the guy who, sit, who talks in poetry. Who sometimes I want to strike. Oh. <laughs> But um, funny, yeah, he is funny. But sometimes I think I think regularly I like him. I think it's when like things are serious, and he's like, "Oh, somebody help me because if not, I will perish." Yeah, and he's like, "Shut up and run." And <laughs> That's now, what I get. And now he, he <laughs> and now he has his his descendants. The animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you already tell that parrot's gonna be so annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. And I was like, oh my god. Alright. I'm just gonna wait for the chapter where he talks trash to Zoo King. Mm. Zoo King just like. Yep. goes crazy on him. Yep, 100%. So we go on this adventure to the Moonrite region. And this Moonrite region is completely isolated by the river. What's the river called? Do you remember? Just a river around the Moonrite region, region. Yeah, it's a specific name, but it's just basically it's like a barrier. Mm -hmm. So like the people who are born in Moonrite. Is it Moonrite or Moon Worship? It was Moonrite. Oh, Moonrite. Moon right. In in the Moonrite region, they can't leave. Mm -hmm. They literally will blow up mm -hmm. if they try to leave because mm -hmm. they have a curse mm -hmm. in their bloodline. Yes. Which is crazy. Which does not not that I guess. I feel like. 
Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, it's because of he the the human guy. He revealed a crazy thing about it. Sure. Where he said, like, when they die, they reincarnate into yeah. back into the moonlight region. Right, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> These people have been getting killed for years, yeah. bro. They're just food free. And to me, I was just like, that's crazy. So she eats them, but like she like, sends her souls back. I feel like, like there's no way that like you can just repeatedly do that like for so long. Yeah, they probably, yeah, that's, it's atrocious. That's but true. apparently you can. Because I guess the rules. She probably makes the rules. She's a high goddess. Crimson Moon Goddess? Yeah, sure. She is a high goddess. Yeah, so. she's a high goddess of exceptional caliber. Mm-hmm. We find out she bested an Imperial Sovereign. I was shocked by that. I didn't think the Imperial Sovereigns like got bested. Honestly. Oh, obviously, I, we know they did because they had to leave. But I didn't think that Crimson, mm-hmm. like the people that we already know of, would be capable of that. She's strong, bro. She's strong. They they just they told us what what he, what she did to them. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna say? I was gonna no. I was gonna say that first off. I just want to throw in. I didn't want to just discredit the Imperial Sovereign like that. The Imperial Sovereign did kill her the first time, but she somehow didn't die. Came back to life, cultivated again, and then killed them. Well, they didn't say. I think it's more like a when he killed her, mm-hmm. like because they didn't explain what happened. Yeah. All they said was he killed her, and then she came back as a god and then killed him. Yeah. So in my head, it's kind of like oh, when he killed her, like her, like maybe like she was high enough where her soul was, like able to like reincarnate, and then she was like oh. I'm gonna wait until I'm gone and come back and kill him. Because reincarnating is like a, just a normal thing in this novel. Like, people get their memories back. Yeah. Like, it's just a thing. So, yeah, for sure. to me, that was just like, maybe something like that happened. Yeah. But that means that, like, <clears throat> Imperial Sovereign is not God level, clearly. So, yeah. it's a little, it's probably a level right below it. Imperial Sovereign might be a, I think it's more of a title. It is a title. I'm saying whatever title. cultivation it yeah. is. It's just like a right below God level. Yeah. Which is why it's kind of insane to think like, oh wow, the human race really had a people got person above high gods back in the day. Uh-huh. Then Almighty Dark Serenity. Yep. But yeah, the Imperial Solomon, they say he, he they said he was cold. Uh-huh. Like he was that guy. Yeah, he was. So for him to get clapped like that, Crimson Moon got this arc, they're gonna have to There was some devious nature involved in that though. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah. Actually, that is true. They're... So, the Imperial Sovereign had... Seven children, I believe? Uh, that are... Uh, they didn't say... No, no, no. This is a specific amount. He had... They said the specific amount. Did he have ten sons and six daughters? I think that's what it was. I don't remember. That is some, it's something around there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely have more sons and daughters. Mm-hmm. But there's only <coughs> how many who are still alive? Well, we only know three, three. right now. Mm-hmm. But so it's the first son. Well, yeah, it's the first son. Yeah. Second daughter. And fifth son or fourth son? Was it fifth son? No, I think it was fifth. six. I think it was six son. Six son. Yeah. Okay. And then they said that the fourth son uh, betrayed them. And he didn't just betray them. No. He this is like hate hatred, He's, doubt. Yeah. Like you like you look at the bone marrow of this guy, and you yeah. see hate <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, imprinted yeah. on yeah. He hates his family because yeah. he betrayed them. Imprisoned them mm-hmm. and then fed his flesh to them mm-hmm. daily. Yep. And then he he was like he got tired of it and then he did it to the Moonrite region. Yeah. It's so, like the people who live there apparently were subjects to the Imperial Sovereign. Because Imperial Sovereign had his own human kingdom. Yep. So it seems like Imperial Sovereign's like they're like it's a kingdom to like an empire. Yeah. Type thing. 
and they're like feeding him like the subjects over time as they reincarnate over and over again. Mm. Which is just like, wow, that's devious. Mm. That was only were kept getting kept alive. Yeah. Which is like crazy. And we also learned that the fourth son who was the traitor is the only god herald of Crimson the Crimson Moon Goddess. Yeah. So he's like Became her relative. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. He was one of these swap families. He's, yeah, I don't know what the guy did, but he found some type of woman. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we get to move around the region, and instantly, like, I was actually happy about this. That was one thing. I was like, there's no way they're going to travel together this whole time. And the captain and Lin Yan and Wu Jianru split up. Zhu King went on his own, and they said, meet back up in a year. It took way longer than that. I was surprised we went on such a long, like, time yeah. long journey. Yeah, we had a long trip. Yeah. So, Zhu King went to the, we to the Heaven Fire region, yeah. region yeah. because his goal was to melt his life limbs into his bloodline. Did not think that would happen so quickly. It happened fast. Like I mean, like we just learned about them. Oh, how like, they're melted. useless, and how then how they had to be melted. Yeah. It's like you needed to have life limbs born from your bloodline yeah. in order for them to like actually have use past spirit trove. Yeah, and he yeah, and then he melted them into his blood into his bloodline, mm. and then they turned into a sundial, mm. and now he can literally reverse time. You reverse time. He can, I was, and not just time, not just time. It's just like. Or, yeah, time of, like, literally anything. Yeah, like, even like, himself. Yeah, like, if I broke, like, anything. Like, I, I, a cop broke <laughs> into pieces. Can come back to you. Yeah, so he can affect it, like, I, he can isolate it. Which is crazy. And you know what I think that's gonna, um, gonna be really important? When he's fighting gods. Oh, yeah. Because gods can, like, their yeah. biggest thing is they take your past, present, future, and they find where you die and they pull that out and that becomes your reality right yeah and i think he can use his sundial to stop and i think he can go beyond the timescape mm-hmm. and like like that other guy who has no past present future but still is alive i think he can do that with the sundial so like he'll be like unkillable by like anybody during that time and that'll be like huge you know we already saw him do something crazy with it where he was basically gonna die or versus time, and his injuries are completely fine, which mm-hmm. is like OP. Mm-hmm. As I only, I think you can only do it for seven seconds. You can't do it for that long. Yeah, it's like I think seven seconds is right. Yeah, but he can do. So that's like on himself, reversal of time, but he can't slow down time around him for seventy seconds, I believe. I don't remember the time. Because I know it's fourteen per sundial. He has five, five sundials, so that's seventy. <laughs> But I think it's something like that. And they recharge like 14. It takes them like 14 hours to recharge as well. So that's just to like slow down people who come near him. But to actually do like reversals and stuff, like I think it's like, it uses way more of the power. Yeah. So well, it's a crazy power. It is. It's going to be literally played to the title. Mm-hmm. I mean, we put the title has like literally been implied like so many times with all the gods. Like, yeah, beyond the time scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is beyond the time scale. But do we really know what that means yet? No. Not yet, because it's still not a god. Yep. But we'll see. I bet you, like, the moon, sh- the Moonrite region is probably going to give us some, uh, like, insight into that. Yeah. We're gonna fight when we fight the, the mm-hmm. goddess. Yeah, kind of moon goddess. We're going to fight her. And then I don't know if it's going to be classified as a fight. Mm, I don't know. We're... Based on the way it's looking, it seems like the the grand plan is I, to have a rematch. I don't think there's <laughs> any way they do a, a real showdown with Crimson Moon. They're they're gonna, they're gonna do that, bro. I they'll get clapped. They would. And she she's about to get stronger. But what? It, it's all about timing. I, I I really don't think they can take her. Like like that's like that is like kind of my point. I don't think she can be full power and they have a rematch. Like, I think it has to be some sort of, like, she's occupied with something. She's, like, has 20% of her power. Something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like you're saying, like, timing-wise. But they can't be, like, she's out of her slumber. And the fighter died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. There's no, no way no, no. that's going to happen. Yeah. They but, will get, like, literally 
destroyed out of the reincarnation loop. <laughs> Alright, well let's 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 backtrack. We'll get back into that theory okay. I have later. Okay. We'll talk about it. So let's go back to he melted his lamps mm-hmm. and then he runs into a human a fellow human. Yeah, fellow human. Fellow inhabitants of Moonrite region. Fortunately he's in the trash cycle. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a funny interaction where he's like, oh yeah, the reason, because Zuki's being chased because he's spawning all these heaven fire crystals when he melts his, uh, his sundials. His life lamps. And they're getting, yeah, his life lamps. And he's getting chased by the, the people there because they need the heaven fire crystals and they can track them. So he gives them a case, he's like, you can hide these in here and hide the aura. And Zuki's like, ah, I don't really want to keep it just in case because he's being wary. So he poisons it. <laughs> that old guy gets pissed. He's like, "Bro, what the? Why did he poison me?" Because he was, because he was saying he was like, "I was gonna kill him, but he's a human, so I'm just gonna rob him." Yeah, yeah. something like. <laughs> we'll just, I'll go from murder to robbery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Okay, it's not, not as funny. Not, it's not too bad." Mm-hmm. Um, and then he does it again because he meets him again. Mm-hmm. So he keeps it poisoned again. Actually, he gives him the antidote this time. It's a fake obviously he can't give him an antidote yeah so the guy suffers again mm-hmm. and he's about to get captured by uh zuking's pursuers yeah zuking helps him this time mm-hmm. and then he help. he finally gets rid of the poison um and they're following each other no what happened was after that was um oh the right. heaven fire sea i think once every like couple decades it'll just there'll be like a huge heaven fire like I don't know. I think heaven fire tribulation, if you want to call it that. Yeah. And oh, it gets super hot. So yeah, it gets super that. hot. So you have to basically every all life gets destroyed except like the super super super, um, what is it called races in the Moonrise region, which there's only like six of. Only like those six can protect themselves. Basically, everybody else like, like some of them have cities that can protect themselves, but cities are only so big. So most of their populations get completely decimated mm-hmm. by this heaven fire tribulation. And so this guy gives uh, Zuking, he's like, here's a spot if you need to get away from the heaven fire tribulation. And Zuking tries to wait it out, and then he's like, no, nah, I'm getting kept out of here. So he goes, <laughs> finds the spot, and we find a human settlement in the Moonrise region, which was full of hope and light and brightness and it was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, basically the the guy the guy he ran into was the leader. Mm-hmm. Like he had because he had the highest cult- cultivation, and he would always go around saving humans and then putting them to the spot mm-hmm. that they can just kind of survive in without getting sacrificed. Mm-hmm. And Zoo King and uh, what's your face? Are you talking about the girl? Ling Ling. Oh, Ling Ling. Ling yeah. Ling. Ling Jing. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's not Iron, but... No. Linger? Yeah, Linger. And Patriot Vahra. Mm. They're all kind of chilling there for a few days, waiting for the... Tribulation to go by. It's a, yeah. it's a hundred days. Yep. So they're sitting there, he takes on one of the little girls as a disciple. And that was about, huge. Oh, yeah, teaches about vegetation and passes it on to the book. You know. She... Pin or something like that. I don't know. Huh? Like she pin around or she pin around. She, she oh. pin around. Pin around, maybe yeah. that, yeah. I wrote it down in my book, bro. My book's in the car. She, it's like shop pin around. sold, bro. Yeah, it's, it's close to that, though. Shop pin around. Sold the notes. It's okay. Well, I, I got a lot in here, though, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. But yeah, that, that was so huge that he got yeah, a disciple. Yeah. I was, he, I was really happy about that. Yeah, and then he passed the Great Masters Bible Hunter. Mm. And it was just cool because it was just like, he's trying to, you know, hype up humanity because they were like, they've never been outside the Moonrise region so they don't know anything about humanity and they were just like, is humanity glorious out there? And he was just like, yeah, yeah. We just won the war against the Night Shades. And he was hyping And he life. was like, yeah, we, we, we won the war. But we're kind of like, <laughs> in like our uh, twilight. Yeah, no, he, he had us up and he was basically like, yo guys, once you get out there, it's beautiful, alright? Mm-hmm. We have our own domain treasure, we're up right now, we're doing all this, all that. 
and like everybody's super hyped. But the guy, the main guy, who um, Zhu King helped out, like knows that like yeah, it ain't really like that. Cause Zhu King told him the truth about what's happening out there. Yeah, he told him like we're up, but we're up from like let's we really get negative ninety nine percent. It's like negative ninety five percent now. It's like we are technically up, but we're really down. I think they. No, I think now. I think they can at least ensure self preservation. Yeah. Which I think was a problem before. Before it was. So like, to be able to ensure self preservation, I feel like it's a huge win in a in an Armageddon type of book. Oh yeah. So we're on the we're on the rise. We're on the rise. We're on the rise. So he was giving them a hope because it's just like we don't know if they're ever gonna leave the Nori region, you know. And we're trying to tell humanity, you know, remember the glory of humanity, you know, yep. just hold on to that fire, you know. We were once the pinnacle of all races mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Almost. Well, they were. They were until they weren't. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. They used to. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, but yeah. He, he was just trying to let them know, like, you know, I know it sucks, mm -hmm. but community, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, it's not as bad as, uh, as, you might like hear from other races where they're just like people are telling you, oh no, like, the humans are trash in this Gamora region. They're yeah. actually like worse than slaves. Yeah, so they thought like, oh, outside it must just be, be just as bad. But it was like it's not just as bad. It's not that good. It's like here's here's some old yeah, like it's basically what he did. Like, like we're not slaves. Mm -hmm. Like we can control our own destiny, which yeah. they can actually yeah. at some point. And so <laughs> Zhu King leaves. He finishes his heaven fire see stuff, you know, he melts all his things, he goes through all that, and then he goes back, so, so basically the, the old guy gives Zhu King um, a special item that helps him resist the lava temperature in the Heaven Fire Sea, and so Zhu King's like, alright, let me go return it now that I'm done, and he finds that the settlement has been completely, huh? Did you just go something? What? The... I'm gonna talk about them. Oh. Yeah, so the the settlement has been completely decimated. Yeah. And we find out the reason is because of I forget what they're called off the top of my head, but basically the people the two races that No, not those guys. I think it's called the Red Something, the Red Cathedral. Yeah. So there's a Red Cathedral power in the Moon Right region, which is controlled by the God Arrow, mm -hmm. which is the traitor. And they collect tributes every like Hundreds of years, I think it is. I think so, yeah. And so they come around, and they could, they need large amounts of tributes, like like, like half a million. Yeah, yeah, million. yeah, half a million. Like they need like those type of numbers of people, and just it, it has to be like people in the sense of a person, not a human. So they can be of any race. So mm -hmm. what usually happens is when these tributes come out is that the stronger races decimate the the lesser races because they don't want to subject their own people to being food. Yeah. And so that's what happened here is that these two races, the Merlings and the somethings, I can't remember the other ones. Really? Yeah. The Merlings and the other race well, knew this human settlement was there but they were like kind of like letting it stay there on purpose for when the tribute came around they can use the humans as tribute. That's exactly what they did. Zhu King came, he found out, and he was like, no, nah, this ain't going down like this. He actually went in full rage mode. Mm -hmm. And he went kind of stupid. He attacked their city, and what were the casualties, bro? Talk about it. Well, first he went and found the carriages of all the humans. Yeah. And he found out they were bunched in like cattle. Like, like, but when I think about it, I just think like, Bodies were just piled on top of each other, yep. and this all the people at the bottom dead. Yeah, because they got crushed. Cause they, it's like they just threw them into a pit, and like they dragged the. Yeah, they just the dragged, dragged it. Yeah. Um. It's like so, a big bundle. Yeah. Like, so ever so he went he went stupid on the on the people that were moving it. Mm -hmm. He just torched them and killed them. Yeah. And we find out. Our disciple. Gone. Darn. She was hold she was crushed. So quick too. But she was holding that book 
like iron grip. Mm -hmm. That baby grip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that baby grip. <laughs> uh, you know, and obviously Zuking was full on rage mode after mm -hmm. that. Grabbed the book and he was just like, he went up to her her brother. She's like, shh, she's just sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, damn. The coat. Her, the coat. That hurt. And then he went. He went to the city where they were supposed to be taken to because mm -hmm. he had to save the leader because mm -hmm. they said they were going to refine him into a into a treasure. Yeah, the treasure he destroyed mm -hmm. to fix it. Yep. So he goes there. He disguises himself as uh, the nightshade god Chow. Yeah. He pulls them up. He swallows them mm -hmm. with this heavenly dragon. Or his heavenly Dao blue dragon. Mm. And does he use something else? Or is it just the dragon that swallows him? And he they hold and he keeps it like caged up for a little bit. He's well caged up. The five strong uh, people like that were guarding the Oh no, it was his, it was his dragon, yeah. It was just a dragon? Yeah. Okay, so basically he's like he, he swallows the five Strong guardians there. Keep spirit the trove. Up. The yeah, spirit yeah, trove. spirit troves. And then he unleashes hell on earth onto the whole city. Mm -hmm. His poison mist unleashed at full, like, Strength. potential capacity, whatever. People were melted. He didn't have a single person to care about. He said full mass annihilation. Uh, yep. And he was smart about it, too. Because he was just... Because when they said, like, oh, I'm here to rescue... I forget the name, but... I'm here to rescue the, the human leader... But I'm here. I'm here to since I'm here to save him. I don't want to turn him into a hostage. So I wanted to throw them off by pretending to be the godchild and make them angry about something else. Yep. Which he I was just like, to be the like, god hero, yeah. which is incredibly smart because they they couldn't tell. Yeah, they can't tell. So he basically slaughtered the entire city. Casualties? That's hard to say. He went stupid, bro. Well, let's just say he committed genocide. Like, that's, like, the yeah, best way I can... Yeah, he committed a mass genocide. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. And then he saved... He, he saved... You really did yeah. commit genocide. Yeah. Wow. He did. Like, he slaughtered everyone. And it wasn't... I'm saying slaughter, but the author described him as, like, a John... It was, like, a John Wick slaughter. He was going in, and he would... He was, like, for the weak people, piece them up. Mm -hmm. For the strong people, I'm back in the shadows. Yeah. I'll get them when they're not pr looking... Stab here too. Yeah. They were while they're melting, so as they get weaker, they're easier to kill. You know, one thing I liked about the slaughter. I don't know what's probably say, but <laughs> one thing I liked about the slaughter is that the author didn't make Zuking have the moral high ground because, like, they were killing the humans, so he can like kill them, like mm -hmm. just as like a priestly guy. Because he, he Zuking even said, if the things were the other way around. He's probably killing them. Yeah. Like, uh, to use them as tribute so that his humans can survive. Mm -hmm. So he's, like, I like that the author said that to make it clear that, like, Zhu King isn't, like, morally righteous. He's just doing what any normal person would do for yeah. the race. Exactly. I, I think that's an important distinction. So instead of thinking of him as, like, this priestly dude, it's like, nah, like, he's doing what he thinks is right. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, even if it's mass genocide. <laughs> <laughs> he saw him all. Well. He saves that other guy. Um, and then he pulls out the god finger. And he has the god finger swallow the five spirit tropes. I think it was four. I think he killed one on his own. Oh, did he? Yeah, he yeah. might have, yeah. Um, and then the god finger was complaining. So he was just like, I don't want to eat them because I don't want to deal with the curse of the Red Moon Gratis. But Zoo King was like, bro... I know you're hungry, so eat them. And he was like, damn it. Because he was starving. And then he was like, I'm never waking up again. I yeah. won't be hungry as long as yeah. I sleep. I yeah. He's, yeah, the vicar's dumb as okay. Yeah. He's like, I got scammed one too many times. You ain't scamming me again, boy. Oh, but, so one thing was after he left the sanctuary for mm -hmm. humans is when he runs into... The, for the eldest child of the Imperial Sovereign. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So he runs into them, and he runs into them when he's getting fed by one of the, um, the Red Cathedral people. Yeah. And then he fights her because she senses she sensed him, 
and then he pushed her into the abyss, and then the guy in, inside ate her. Mm. And the guy inside was about to eat him, mm. but luckily, Zhu King had the god finger to guide him out. Mm. And the guy, since he saw saw let him get out, he was like, "Okay, why don't you live for now?" Mm-hmm. Also, an important part here is that since obviously Zhu King has the power of the violet or the red moon, or the red moon. Well, to him it's the violet moon. To him it's the violet moon. Yeah. But he has the power of the Red Moon to other people. And so he can control the restrictions that were guarding that first, the first Imperial Prince from the Imperial Sovereign's like, dynasty. And so he was able to help him escape his, like, his chains. Yeah. And so this guy was like, alright, this guy could probably help me free my other siblings. So that's like, especially it's going to be important later on because that's where like the 30 chapters ended. Mm-hmm. Is us trying to Save this guy's sister. Oh, yeah, because after he um, saved all the humans, yeah. he was about to leave to go. Where was he going to go? Wait, real quick, real quick. He only saved like half of them. Like half of them died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never still live. Yeah, he saved them, but he didn't, he didn't leave. The, it was originally 100k ish. It left for like 40 to 50,000. So, a lot died. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, you were saying? We're saying like when he was about to leave. Mm-hmm. I don't remember where he was going. Um, but he was he was going through the door. He's going through the door people. I just don't remember the location. So he was going. So he went to the door people with the leader guy. Yeah. To submit the tribute because no matter who's like the I think it's by region. No, he wasn't going to go submit the tribute. Yeah, with the old guy. No, no, no. The, the old guy was going to go. By himself, and Zuking was going another place. Yeah, no, but I mean, like they went oh, together. Oh, together. Okay. And then he was gonna go, I believe, to the southeast or something like that, like really far, and because that's where the meeting location with the captain was at Mount Heavenly Ox, mm-hmm. and so. Oh, that's yeah. what he was doing. And we find out Mount Heavenly Ox's name after the captain when he first came here and probably died. Yeah. And so. He was supposed to go there because at this point it's already been like a year. Yeah. And Zhu King's like, I gotta get there quick. Because like, I think they agreed upon like 10 months. Yeah. And it's been over a year and it's like, I'm gonna be super late. And then when he's like looking for a door, basically the... The prince. The prince shows up and he's like, you're coming with me. You know, or he, I think he offers him a, ch- a choice, right? He's like, you can come for me and I'll give you three rewards. Mm-hmm. One, the that sword, that girl that he killed, that sent the you said sent Azuki sent into the abyss. So she was spiritual, and spiritual cultivators have a lot of heaven fate, which is what you use in your NASA soul tribulations. Like when you go through tribulation, you gain he- heaven fate. So the quicker yeah. the quicker you gain heaven fate is also the quicker you can do your tribulations. You can store that for your spiritual. Yeah, and well, so the quicker you can become spiritual. So she, um, the guy, the prince gave him the heaven faith from the girl, part of it. And he said he'd give him another thing later, I believe. He said he'd give him, uh, wasn't it an item from yeah. like a smoldering god? Yeah, something yeah. like that. And then the third thing was... He, he um, ex- Exempt the humans from making a tribute. From tribute, yeah. And so all those things. So the king is like, all right, I'll go with you. And we find out that they're going to unseal uh, the f- Imperial Prince's sister. Uh, second sis. Second sis. And she's, they're both like smoldering god love. Yeah. At the very least. Like, we don't know what level they are, but they're at least one they're God. Yeah, they have to be, yeah. They're not no void returning, like, little fries, you know? They are at least one they God. It's crazy, because it's like, if the ruler, or if the, um, the son's sovereign was, I mean, we don't even know his level. Mm-hmm. But, like, those guys were just smoldering gods. So, how many levels is there, like, after smoldering God? That's probably quite a few. I don't think that's anywhere near peak. Like, I think it's, like, not anywhere near peak is, like, too much, but I think it's, like, it's more than the halfway point. But by, like, how much, I don't know. I don't know. That's, i said it's probably, like, four, maybe more. I, I think four is a very good number. I felt like three was too little. But four sounds just about right. Yeah. 
I could see five, but like five sounds too much. I, I I would I would guess four too. So I have to small learning guys there's probably four more levels. But that depends. Are we talking about Revered Ancient Mainland or the story in general? Revered Ancient Mainland. Which is big enough for like a long time, to be honest. I give it three more levels though. Three? Okay. After after Swamp Thunder God, there's three more levels. Okay. Because I just think if it's... Crimson Moon Goddess is like... I, I, I guess we can't really speculate this. What is the level of a regular god? You know? Does that just um, mean, like, after Smoldering God, maybe, like... Because they also say, as Smoldering God, you can control your own fate against gods somewhat. Like, I don't think you well, can be probably, a god. It's probably just, like, you can resist some of the magics. Yeah. That do. So I don't think you can beat a god as a Smoldering God, but you can, like, you can resist it. Like, you won't, basically, you won't, you're not insta-killable anymore. Like, I'm not going to die from, like, you pulling out my time, like, a death timeline. Yeah, exactly. You have so, to actually like, hit me and kill me. Yeah. And so, there's probably a regular god is probably the next level above that. Maybe high god is the next one. And then, like... No, I think it, I think if it's god, I feel like them, it's, like, immortal. And it's just, like, low high, low mid-high. Like, there's okay. low, high, low mid-high for god. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think the, the, the cultivation level is going to be god. I think they're going to have different cultivation levels. And, like, god is more the title. Yeah. But we'll figure that out. But we went to go rescue the second sis, and it was hilarious. Cause on the way there, Zoo King is traveling with the guy, and Zoo Zoo um they break through the prison that this the girls in, and we find as soon as we break in that the captain Ning Yan and Wu Jianru are already there, <laughs> and the captain was hyping this this high stuff. He was like this heist. I was, um, this was going to be my heist, like a little side heist, right? We're just going to get the fingerprint of, like, some guy over here, right? Mm-hmm. We have to get, like, the mental image of it for some reason. And then once the captain got the mental image, he was going to leave. While he he was getting his mental image, Zuke shows up with the nail. With, um, no, I think he's unlocking the nail, right? Yeah, they're unlocked. Yeah, we told him, like, if you unlock the nail, I'll give you... Just give him a prize or something. Yeah. And the nail is like an Imperial Sovereign weapon. Yeah. And it was funny because uh, the captain was like, this wasn't supposed to happen until six more heists. Because <laughs> it was like a future heist yeah. that he had planned. And it was like, how far is this man thinking, though? Know? Like, he's trying to scam Imperial Sovereigns. Like, he's... <laughs> I don't know his level, but I want to know yeah. They said he was there before. They did say he was there before. And that's when Zhu King, the captain, the very the very last chapter is done like grouping up. Yeah. I thought it was a very, very perfect time for yeah. us to like get together and get end, together. And end it. It's been like probably like 13, 14 months. And like uh, the emotions that Zhu King encountered with the 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 human settlement were so powerful because he was able to, like, see one of them before he went to the village. Spent a hundred days with, like, completely free of, like, outside uh, control humans. And, like, just see how they were brought up and everything. And it was, like, it was beautiful because I feel like Zhu King even talked about it when he was there. He was like, like, this is where my source of light comes from. Because, you know, yeah. he's he's not darkness like everybody else. So he, his heart... He's like a he's like a, a shining di- he's like a diamond in the rough basically you know like he needs to be uncovered and undusted and there's lots of layers before you get there but there's there's some hot, some light in there you know yeah and it was fully portrayed here with all the villagers and everybody he's being really nice like you know Lu- uh, L- Linger was helping out she was a horrible cook by the way so mm. I know. <laughs> I just, I really like that arc. It was really, really good. Yeah. But like mini arc. Yeah. Um, Crimson Moon Goddess is... Getting clapped. I'm just surprised that she didn't, wi- like, she didn't feel anything with Zhu King using the moon, go- moon ability so many times in her territory. Well, um, I was very surprised. The Imperial Prince was like, oh, the Crimson Moon Goddess didn't sense my escape. She must be, like, really, like... Busy or yeah. right now. But I'm like, I thought like, 
I, I, I do get that, but I'm still surprised he's using that ability so much and she's not doing anything. Well, it's probably because to her, mm-hmm. it's not important. Like, it's like important, but it's just like, it's what so she's doing is way more important than where it's just like, I don't need, if anything, she's happy. It's just like, oh, he's right in my territory. I can just wait. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. That's fair. That's fair. These Imperial Sovereigns, or Imperial Sovereign Children, are going to be huge. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was just like, oh, this is it. He's, they're going to get who's ever left alive, because mm. they're probably all smoldering gods. Mm. They're going to revive the dad. Yeah. And they're going to fight. And that's why I said rematch. And he's going to... They're gonna clap her this time. And they're gonna pull out some buffoonery. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm saying buffoonery, but it'll probably be something epic. Oh, the yeah. author's just like, oh yeah, but here's the trap card we yeah. set up for her. Yeah. And this is how we kill her. And then you're just like, what? How did this happen? I'm, a... I'm waiting for it, bro. Mm. I don't know what it's gonna be. Like, just like Adamar. I don't know how, how they would actually, like, even if they did revive her, straight up, they're not going to win. Yeah, so no, we like, have to have the trap card. Whatever yeah. the trap card is, that's what I'm waiting for. Um, yeah. Honestly, they don't need some crazy stuff. Also, Zoo King is, we find out how, like, Nasa's soul kind of works more. Oh, what do you mean? All of his pals is Nasa's soul, so he's officially Nasa's soul? Yeah, he's officially Nasa's soul. Once you go through your first tribulation, you're officially not so. The reason why he was a pseudo not so is because not all of his palaces had gone through the tribulation. Oh yeah, yeah that's what it was. So once all thirteen go through the tribulation, even though the lifeline basically go through it for free, um, he goes through. He gets um, and he completes his first tribulation, and he's almost peak of the second tribulation, which basically means he's. Almost about to have his second tribulation occur. Mm-hmm. And this time he should have all 13 happen at once, I believe. Be crazy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like a long chain tribulation? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Not with the sovereigns there. Or with the sovereign children. I want to know what the captain got cooked up. I want to know what Nian's going to do. I really want to know what Wooji Aaron was doing here, though. Oh, yeah, like, why did he actually get brought, like, because the captain's not going to just bring him along. Even yeah. as a meat shield, I feel like that's not worth it. Yeah, I think he's definitely has to do with his, like, new, like, ability with the animals, and also, like, must be something about dark, um, serenity, too. Yeah, that's true. Like, I must have some ties. Also, side note, one of these comments, because this flew right over my head. Yeah. One of the comments exposed something that I was just like, I didn't think about it until yeah. they said it. That Ning Yen... Is one of the uh, human princes. What? Yeah. They were saying, someone in the, so people in the comments were saying, oh, so Ning Yen must be one of the princes for humanity. Why? Yeah. Because they were talking about um, saying that uh, the seventh prince mentioned, like, oh, yeah, you guys found my brother because they said they, he ran off to this region. And then there's all these things about Ning Yen's bloodline. Like, remember when Kin Kin yeah, yeah. attacked Ning Yan, but, they, but he said, like, oh, yeah, because my bloodline, he's not going to attack me. And then they said the the trail, what was it, the Wu, something the like that? The Wu intro, intro, intro mortal. mortal. They said something else with his bloodline. So people are just like, oh, yeah, he's probably a prince because they they said his bloodline is, like, crazy. Mm-hmm. And then the seventh prince said someone, they were looking for his prince, they said he escaped around and right in this area. Mm-hmm. And I was like... I feel like, the, first of all, I feel like those details are not enough for you to guess yeah. that he's the prince. Yeah. But I was kind of, but once you said it, I was like, in I, my head. I, I kind of saw the vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not too completely sure about it. I feel like it's a little bit of a stretch. I feel like there's another thing that, like, sold you, sold me on it, but I can't remember exactly what it was. We'll get there. But, yeah, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I'll test was spicy, bro. Spicy. And, like, that human settlement arc was really good. And the devastation, the mass genocide that he that followed up. committed needs to be read and cannot be talked about. No. But the, we, we can say mass genocide, but you have to read it to feel it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's something about it. And 
He really he killed a bunch of nasty soul people. I didn't, and he even killed like some spiritual people. And like it was just like impressive. It was impressive. Oh, I was so sad when he got. Oh, a big tidbit that we almost forgot. Well, you didn't mention, but we didn't make the like they made the connection in the story, and we should say it here, is that because of the souls technically reincarnate, his apprentice can technically be saved. Oh yeah, that's right. Before she like loses her memories. Yeah. Because right. when you reincarnate, you lose your memories. But he can potentially save her before she fully dies, and loses her memories, so she can come back to life. So he's definitely saved. Huh? Tension. He's gonna save her. He's gonna save her. That's his apprentice, and we all know what Master Seven's um, guidelines are on apprentice master relationship. Yeah. And I believe Zoo King follows those exact same rules. Mm-hmm. So if that means Crimson Moon Goddess needs to get clapped for him to get his disciple back, that's what will happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, there's one more thing I did want to talk about. Mm-hmm. So they, the human leader, because they they showed how wise he was mm-hmm. actually because they, because he he talked to him and Zuki talked about the whole thing and he he asked about the seven prince. He was like, "There's one thing you miss, buddy. Yeah, your the mother's family." Because he was saying everything feels like it's being guided. Like mm. the whole time, it feels like the human emperor has controlled the whole time. Mm. But it feels like someone is, someone's pulling the strings. Mm. But there's some other force there. And he told him to not forget the seven princes maternal family. Mm-hmm. Because he said he's either not human or they're a super high human clan. And mm. That's why he has so much power. And it sounds like he's carrying out the orders of his father. So... Mm. He was telling Zoo King, like, you gotta be careful. You really do. The waters are deep. And they said that, um, the guy also suggested that there's somebody in C.C. Lee County that the Emperor has planted all along who doesn't have a high cultivation base and has been, like, silently... Gathering information. Gathering information and leading people to, like, this result. That actually scared... (laughs) <laughs> that like scared me. Cause I was like, I don't know who that could be. And I couldn't. I wouldn't have thought of it either. I was just like, wait, that makes. You know who I thought of for some reason? I thought of Ghost Hand, but I was like, no, I can't be him. Yeah, no, no there's way. no way. So I don't know who it could be, but I'll tell my head. Nope, I'm nothing. Cause I said low, so like it would mean like it would have to be like his cultivation. It has to be gold core lower. No, it has to be gold core like the set. Because gold core in the set isn't really like big. Yeah. The only spirit trove and above is considered big. And it definitely can't be nice and soul. I feel like that that's like a little attention. But gold core, I feel like it can be gold core. Be it's like, more likely to be gold core. Yeah. I believe he's gold core or she. Who would it be? That's crazy. I can't actually think of it. Maybe it's because I also don't know a lot of names because there's so many people. That's true. That's like a big part. The names go right by me. Like, I feel like I've had a wiki that could like just show me all the names. You know what we forgot to mention here? What? The very beginning, before all this happens, or before Zoo King leaves to the captain, we have uh, a dinner between Zoo King, Big Bro Kong, and Seventh of Oh, Prince. that I knew. I was forgetting something. Yeah, Seventh Imperial Prince and is this Sixth Imperial daughter i i don't know what number she is she's in apparel she's in apparel she's daughter. S- i don't think she's six i think she's fifth the fifth no i don't think they said it but. all right well she's an apparel daughter i think she's a big sis yeah guy. so she's definitely above seven yeah and um basically there was a little reunion of the capital talents with the seven sis and the Imperial Prince, and they were all kind of playing this whole charade because they want um, Zoo King to like kind of choose a side and like, or at least see where he stands. And he said, Forget all that. And he murdered some guy. <laughs> he was like, I stand mm-hmm. with the people of Fanghai County. Yeah. Regardless, I don't care about the Imperial Fanghai County. County? It's Fanghai, right? CC Lin County. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, I read the Chinese name for it. Oh, okay. okay. I saw it because I, re- I looked up the wiki because I try to remember names. Yeah. And on the wiki, it has Feng Hai. Oh, okay, okay. It's and like Feng Hai. I was like, is this, this? That sounds like Mortal Ages. 
But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he said, I don't care about the superior, you know, schemes that you guys got going on. Do not touch the bottom line of Cecilia and Cowboy. Don't, don't, uh, insult, uh, Palace Lord Kong. Yeah, that's his bottom line. Mm-hmm. And the Imperial sister, like, looked at him and, like, had a slight smile. She, it looked like she gave him some recognition yeah. for, like, what he did. So that was pretty good. And um, we also got our three prefixtures back that yep. are part of Cecilia County that we didn't have. We got all 13 of them. And technically, the Moonrite region, I believe, was given to the humans, right? Or, or was it a region near Moonrite? I think it was near, a region near. Yeah, a region near, or no, I think it was... Was it a prefixture? I don't think it was a region. Yeah, prefixture, not a region. They got a prefixture near the Moonrite region that was given to the humans. And it's like a random prefixture in like the middle of like night ceiling or of it's like near nightshade and uh what is the other race oh called? um holy tide and holy tide they were they were giving a lot of directions this thing and i was trying to build a map in my head and i failed <laughs> i failed it was like northeast northwest on the border of holy tide and and nightshade does this and i was like you lost me bro or Jenny Lawson. We'll get a map somewhere. We'll, we'll, we'll try to make one. But yeah, this is the 30 chances. They're really good. They're better written than spoken of. Yes, I'll be 100%. Honest. Immortal of Ages next week. Mm-hmm. First 200 chapters. I think it only has like 340 or 370 chapters out right now. Yeah. Chapters are very long, guys. I can tell because um, an audio. It's like obviously a time limit, and usually a regular chapter, I'd say is between seven to ten minutes for most novels. I will say also, more of the ages has like different chapter lengths. They're not like uniform. They're not. Yeah, they're not consistent. Like one one chapter was like seven minutes, and one was seventeen minutes. On seventeen. Minutes. So like, there's big differences. So there's some chapters that are very long. But um, next week. One of the ages, first story chapters. All right, I'm really excited. Me too. Yeah. I've also finally kicked my splitting the heavens addiction. I kicked it. Like you said, the arc. The arc ended, yeah, yeah, but like, the book ended. That's what helped me. Oh yeah, that's true. The true. book ended, and it was like I read like two more chapters after that, and I was like, I can stop right here. I'm all, until this book finishes. I don't want to come back. Yeah, because now there's like. Now it's just all brand new. Yeah, yeah. So now it's like, I don't want to just sit there reading the brand new. I want to give it like, or we can wait until it's like 70 chapters and do it on the podcast. We can do that too. Yeah. But we'll see. It's been the happens. I kicked it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For now. Until I get to 200 and more ages. <laughs> Probably happens today or tomorrow. So I don't know what it's going to do. We'll see. We'll see. He's like, we're good to do it. <laughs> I read too much. Uh, yeah, I really did, bro. Yeah. Now <laughs> I only have 27 chapters left. Well, tell me exactly what chapter. Find out what chapter you stopped at, I'll read till then. Okay. Might be like 210, guys, alright? Because if I can get more chapters, then I'll take it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I actually will make the cut this time. Usually I'm scrambling, not this week. Yeah. Well, I guess this has been Almore. Biggest Gamer. It's been episode 60 of Life Donald Fiend's Podcast. Yes. Peace.